Hello students, this is your teacher here. Welcome to another video lecture. In this lecture, we are going to discuss some of the very important firefighting techniques that are used commonly. Coming to the lecture, we know that when a fire is ignited, the way it is put out depends upon two factors. First one it is the fuel that is making the fire to burn and the second one it is the location of the fire itself which means that we in order to extinguish a fire that has ignited two factors depends on it first one it is the fuel that drives the fire to burn and second one it is the area where the fire is happening for example when we consider a case of a chemical industry where a process is running under the atmosphere of say methane or natural gas in that particular case consider that a fire has occurred accidentally then in order to uh, put down that fire two factors are generally depends upon the first one it is the fuel that makes the or drives the fire to burn that is in the case of the example it is the natural gas because the, uh, the operation is running in the atmosphere of natural gas the second one it is the area of the fire itself that is in that example the chemical industry or the area where that particular process is happening these two factors generally depends upon how we can put out a fire when it is ignited the first technique that we are going to discuss is fog attack as the name suggests we seek the help of a fog to extinguish the fire in this case the hose uses a fog setting to extinguish a fire and it is ideal for closed compartment fire where there is no wind which means that in this case or in fog attack we use fog to extinguish the fire and this particular firefighting technique is generally suited for a non windy atmosphere that is when we are using in case of a windy atmosphere or in the presence of fire the chances to spread the fire is can be to a great extent which cannot be controlled so this is generally used in case of a non windy atmosphere one cannot say that fog attack can can't be used in case of a windy atmosphere fog attack can also be used in case of a windy atmosphere but it is not generally preferred because it, uh, it its effectiveness is greatly reduced in case of a windy atmosphere it is generally used by fire brigades across the country and it is loaded or praised for its effectiveness in combating the fire and it can be very effective in non ventilated spaces that is in the absence of wind or air but where there is wind its effectiveness is greatly reduced the next technique that we are going to discuss is indirect attack it is generally used in case of high rise buildings or closed compartment and it is aimed at the ceiling the water drops down and extinguishes the fire from above which means that in case of fog attack we have already discussed we use fog to extinguish the fire but in case of indirect attack we are seeking the help of powerful water jets to extinguish the fire as the name suggests there exist some indirect principles to extinguish the fire that is we are not directly applying the powerful water jets to the fire instead we follow two steps that is we are applying water in an indirect manner for example consider that fire has occurred in in a very high rise building we apply when we are using this particular fire fighting technique we apply first the water to the walls or ceilings below which the fire is occurring why we are applying the walls or ceilings below which fire is occurring is that this generally disrupts the thermal balance and the vapor which is caused during the burning of fire absorbs the uh some amount of energy and the rest the water will rains to the fire and it gets extinguished the very important uh, uh point that you should uh, remember is that the water is not directly applying to the fire instead it is applying to the walls or ceilings below which the fire is occurring 
why we are applying for two reasons the first one it is it disrupts the uh, thermal balance and the second one it is the vapor absorbs the energy and in this way the uh, extinguishing or uh, we can put down the fire in a very uh, easier manner it is one of the most effective in closed compartment fire such as high rise environments instead of aiming the stream of water directly at the fire it is aimed at the ceiling or wall above it works in two fold that is it follows two step first of all the water will cool the ceiling which disrupts the thermal balance and the vapor will absorb the energy and the rest of water will fall like rain which helps to extinguish the water some of the very important point to you should uh, remember is that it is not directly applied to the fire instead it is applied to the wall or ceiling where the fire is occurring the third technique is direct attack it is perhaps the most widely used and known technique this suffocates the flames as water is aimed at the base of fire as we discussed in case of a direct attack we are indirectly applying the water to the fire but in case of direct attack we are directly applying the powerful jets of water to the fire this is only the major difference this uh, fire fighting technique that is direct attack can be used in case of a non vented atmosphere and uh, a vented atmosphere also the advantage when that when we are using this technique in uh, non vented atmosphere that is when we are using this technique in case of in the absence of a windy atmosphere is that the chances of occurring of steam will be very less and the fire can be extinguished in a very uh, faster manner it is used it is use a it use a concentrated powerful jet of water that suffocates the flame in order for this to work effectively the fire fighters must have a clear and direct light now sight to the fire which means that the fire fighters should know a clear picture uh, where the fire is occurring they should know a direct line of sight where the fire is occurring if this method is used in non vented area that is in the absence of uh, wind then there will be less production of steam and the fire can be extinguished very faster and uh, this only about the direct attack next we are going to discuss about the combination attack and attack as the name suggest we have the combination of direct and indirect attacks this uses both indirect and direct attacks to combat the overhead gases and the flames simultaneously which means that in case of combination attack we are using the principles of both direct and indirect attack as we have discussed in case of indirect attack we are indirectly applying powerful jets of water to the fire stream so that it disrupts the thermal balance and the vapor absorbs some form of energy thereby the fire gets extinguished in uh, a very great manner in case of direct attack we have discussed that we are directly applying the jet of water to the uh, fire so that the uh, fire get extinguished these two uh, principles is used in case of a combination attack it simultaneously combats the overhead gases uh, while uh, uh, by disrupting the thermal balance as we have discussed in case of indirect attack whilst directly attacking the fire itself extinguishing it quickly minimizing the risk of spreading the only point that you should study in case of combination attack is it is direct attack plus indirect attack if you have studied well about direct and ind indirect attack then this particular form of fire fighting technique is completed so far we have discussed four fire fighting techniques fog attack indirect attack direct attack combination attack the next attack or next form of fire fighting technique that we are going to discuss is the two lines in method we have already discussed in case of a combination attack that combination attack is equal to simply direct attack plus indirect attack 
while coming to the two lines in method two lines in method form of fire at a uh, fire fighting technique is equal to direct attack plus fog attack that is it uses the principles of direct attack and indirect attack this uses two horses and two teams generally for two teams one team is generally engaged with uh, the direct attack and the other team is generally engaged for uh, controlling the spreading of fire uh, that is why the two teams are generally uh, found out in two lines in mother combining a fork nozzle and solid stream of water and it is generally used that are subject uh, for fires that are subject to high winds this is one of the very important point so far we have not discussed for the fire fighting techniques that uh, is generally used for uh, the uh, windy atmosphere but this uh, method this form of fire fighting uh, technique is generally used in case of very high uh, windy atmosphere as long as the two teams work in tandem and communicate well this method can be very effective one team should uh, uh, focus on attacking the flame directly while the other should concentrate on preventing any advancing flame from spreading as we have discussed that there exist two teams one team for uh, directly applying uh, water to the fire and the other is uh, for controlling the uh, spreading up of the fire so in this lecture we have discussed five major and important fire fighting techniques the first one it is fog attack direct indirect attack direct attack combination attack and finally the two lines in mother in case of fog attack we discussed that we seeks the help of fog to get down the fire and it is generally used in case case of non ventilated atmosphere in case of uh, the indirect attack we have discussed that we are indirectly applying the water to the uh, fire so that uh, the thermal balance is disrupted and the vapor absorbs some form of energy in, in case of direct attack we have discussed that we are directly directly applying the powerful jet of water to the fire and it is also generally used in case of non ventilated atmospheres combination attack is direct attack plus indirect attack that is we use the principles of both direct that indirect attack and finally we have discussed uh, the two lines in method which is equal to the fog attack plus the direct attack thank you students for your kind cooperation please do subscribe my channel because i will be uploading so many videos that certainly will help you so this is your teacher signing off peace out